I really thought we had this. This gun destroyed. That's pretty big. I'm gonna take the shot again here, because they're on the second floor. Nice. That's good. Hello guys, and welcome to a new second front video today by me, Vulcan. In this one, I'm excited to be continuing once again with more of the Commonwealth missions. This one is Matilda's Attack. With the German forces sweeping forward through northern France, the British managed to arrange a counterattack in the area of Arras. They had a few of the new Matilda IIs available. These were infantry attacks designed to accompany the infantry into an attack and had heavy armour. Can you use your armour to stop the advance of the German forces? I guess we'll find out. We've got two Matilda 1s at our disposal. We've got a Matilda 2. We've got three Bren carriers. We've got on turn 4, Matilda 2 and two more Matilda 1s. Our infantry, six two-man squads, one four-man squad, two LMGs and a leader. Then for the Germans, they have a 231, a Pack 35, a Panzer 3. On turn 4, they get a Panzer 4 and a 222. And for their infantry, they have... Four regulars, which are four-man squads, they get two LMGs and a leader. So our armor advantage seems to be quite significant, but the reload chance on this pack 35 <laughs> might screw us over. We'll have to wait and see. I don't think it has much chance to penetrate, though. Arras, France, May 21st, 1940. Okay, so here's our tanks on the left hand side here. Matilda 2 ready and waiting to move ahead of the Matilda 1s, where it looks like my crews are buttoned up. We have one of our infantry here, including one of the squads that has an LMG. There's also another squad here that has an LMG. And then over on their side, they got the Panzer III. Now, I believe these could actually move pretty far. They've got two, three, one. Could probably just zoom down this road. Look at that. I, I can move that far. They can move that far. So I do actually kind of have to be careful about how we go about this. I think for the Matilda II, it doesn't really matter as much because it's going to be able to just sort of move up on this building and get close range shots into there with its machine gun. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then this unit should be able to move further if we open the hatch. Indeed. So let's move down the road here as far as we can. Then what am I going to do with the Brens? Also, can these shoot? No, they can't. They have to, I guess, be buttoned up in order to fire, which is why they were at the start. Okay. So yeah, the Bren. I'm thinking here would be a nice spot, because it's kind of covered in case there's enemy AT guns. There's only one AT gun we've got to worry about. we just got to try and figure out where it is. I guess the Brens wouldn't be a terrible shout to figure that out. Because the Batildas are the valuable ones. We'll move here, take a shot, not that it matters. And then, where else can we go? Like, I'm almost tempted to move up sort of here. We can use these walls for cover as well, potentially. Here's not a bad spot, I don't think. Just to shoot at the, the building here. I want to lay down as much fire as we can into the objective. So that we can break that. My other one here, I'm really not sure what I want to do with it. I mean, maybe we could just put it here. We'll just bring it up safe behind for the time being. The nice thing about these Brens is... One, they can try and figure out where the AT gun is for us. And the other thing is, once there's enemy units, we want to kind of 
keep pinned. We can just sort of drive closer to them and keep them harassed once the armor's dealt with. That's kind of what I'm thinking of doing with those. As for this building, we can probably use these trees to get pretty close. This is a, a rough one to get into though, honestly. Or well, the line of sight there, it can shoot all the way through up here. Let me just test something. I'm gonna run through like so. Yeah, they didn't fire. Okay, we should be okay to move across here. Seems so. Uh, let's go ahead and merge another unit there. That way our leader has two LMG squads ready to go. Perfect. Alright, we'll move on to the next phase. The fire phase. Ooh, we got hit by something. That's going to be the AT gun. I have no idea where it is. Maybe it's here. Or it's here, or it's up here, maybe. It didn't reveal itself. Alright, let's just advance our infantry up. I'm just going to come into the back of this tree line. It's going to be their move and fire phase. So now we'll see what happens to their vehicles. And also, I was going to say where the AT gun is, maybe. Yeah. So it was up on this hill. I think at that range, it doesn't really have a good chance of penetration, but we probably don't want to sit in its line of sight. Right, where's this 231 going? Oh, is it going to go harass my infantry? That would be really bad. Okay. Gun malfunction. We can advance on that, surely. Here comes the patterns of three. Huh. Curious. I didn't stop in line of sight, so that's, I guess, pretty smart. Oh, we broke that unit. That's huge, actually. Very big. Okay. Gonna be their advance. Yeah. I mean, the gun malfunction means that these infantry should be safer. Can these fire if I turn them in? They can. Okay. So I think a good plan would be to maybe just try and stay next to them to keep them from recovering 16% recovery on this turn though because of the leader All right how I move in fire phase so which way is this pointing you got to be careful not to like Moving its line of fire. I mean, there's a good chance that I could come round here and engage this Panzer III, right? But I don't want to go too close. 
I think if we go here, they stay panicked. We can take the shot. We'll put MG fire onto those. The same from here. Maybe we can get a pin in the open. No luck so far. I'll move this one up slightly so that it can provide MG fire down the road as well. Perfect. Okay, good. I think with these, we split them up. Uh, same deal here. We have to split these. Because this is going to fire at one of them. And we can't just, like, engage at this turn unless we move on to it. Uh, we'll move this. Uh, I can't move it very well. Okay, let's just fire out those. That's fine. That's actually still got a gun malfunction, hasn't it? Never mind. So we should be fine. I didn't need to spread out like that. So the next key thing is going to be to make sure that these two do not recover. We do this and this. Uh, these guys can just move down. Should be fine. Those chaps are pinned. Alright, melee phase. Please just destroy it. Or don't. It's <laughs> unfortunate. Oh, they actually rallied next to us. The leader paid off there. That's kind of sad because it would have been a lot easier for us to take the objective if they remained pinned. Seventy two percent chance, please. <laughs> Alright, well, this one needs to keep firing at those to keep them pinned. We got a gun malfunction. It was going so well. I really thought we had this. This gun destroyed. That's pretty big. I'm gonna take the shot again here because they're on the second floor. Nice. That's good. Let's keep firing at them. Perfect. All right. That's what we like to see. So. We'll send one regular to run up to the building. I'm not sure if this can fire at us. It can. So, that's good. Now we can run them up. And these should all be able to run up together. Nice. And these guys 
I don't know if I need them here because we're going to take this objective. I think heading up to this objective is a good idea. The tank's down here, right? So I think in theory I should just be able to like run up this road. We'll head towards here. All of the infantry is currently in this tree line. Good. I'm even tempted to open the hatch on one of these and just drive up here to cover these infantry. We can keep firing at these with the Brens. Keep the Brens out of line of sight of this AT gun, that's all I need to do there. And I think what I might do is try and move up this Matilda a little bit. Whilst it can still only engage the unit in that building, it will help us engage any other units that are going to be charging back towards us. Alright, let's move on to the fire phase. I want to move this Matilda because we're kind of playing with fire a little bit. I was hoping they wouldn't be able to get out of the building in time, but unfortunately they did. Do I want to advance all of these inside the building? I don't think I need to. I guess it's a good foothold for the time being and it, gi it gives us the objective it's a good foothold if I go to the second floor we might be able to cover some other areas with it and we can't really see past these trees though it's currently turn 3 it'll be turn 4 soon and reinforcements are coming we've got to worry about that uh, we get our own reinforcements but their reinforcements being close to this objective are going to be Kind of sketchy. I'm giving them way too many chances to kill this Matilda too. <laughs> That's not good. They had one chance. Okay. Well, we can fire from here, that's fine. Uh, we might as well keep shooting at those. And we got a kill and a reload. Beautiful. And we can take that shot. Sure. Yeah, I kind of want to get one of my Brens round to keep shooting those two units. We can stop them from recovering. It would be really good for us. So new reinforcements have arrived for us, which means they'll also get reinforcements soon. Okay, and these guys... Gotta be careful of those, but we should be fine to move up to there. I think I just move next to this and kill it. We missed, but we get another shot. 
41% miss and a 58% miss. That's a pain. That's a real pain. I didn't mean to move forwards like that. I meant to click the white arrow. It's fine. I mean, we're not really going to be using it to fire anyway. This turn. I think we drive these up to the top side. Maybe. Maybe not this turn, though, actually, now I think about it. The other thing I'm going to do is turn my turret in this direction so that we have the potential to catch out enemy forces in this direction when they come this road. And the Bren's going to be really far, so th there's no need to like rush to do this. Although it would be very nice if I could harass these guys this turn, but I can't. And not unless we went in front of the AT gun, which I'm not going to do. So we will leave those where they are. Oh, what can this fire at? Oh, the building. That's not good. It's actually quite a high chance. We're not going to want to stay in there. Oh, the machine gun malfunctioned on the 231 as well. That's nice. I almost don't have to kill it at all. Now these guys, we're going to leave maybe one unit sort of behind it. But we're not going to stay in the building. No point in giving that AT gun something to shoot at. All right, let's see where they go with these tanks. Oh, and those two recovered. Oh, no. And they've gone in that building. The 231's doing a runner. We have nothing to fire at this turn. Interesting. Alright, so... I guess it's just a matter of getting the Matildas on target of these two armoured vehicles, since the 231's more or less out of action unless it gets its machine gun repaired. But capturing this last objective is going to be kind of difficult. Now that a lot of troops have managed to get in there. Alright, it's so our moving fire. I think here is a good shout. There's only a 16% chance. All those forwards. Move this forwards as far as I can. The second Matilda is going to be in line of sight. That's good. Find a much better. Accuracy. Perfect. The Panzer IV is dealt with, that's good. Now we just need to get the Matildas round to just continually pump machine gun fire into these buildings.
the 222 is still a threat to the Bren carriers. But I'm thinking we can probably start moving them back a little bit. I'm going to keep this Matilda there. Let's leave the... Actually, all the infantry seems to be retreating, so we can probably get away with just leaving a regular here, I think. Let's just throw that regular over there with a leader. And a regular. we we'll leave one regular here, just chilling out the back. Perfect. That might give us a chance to recover this green unit as well. The thing is, we don't have to destroy this AT gun at the end of the day. We can just leave it there with nothing to shoot at and just deal with the forces in front of us. I don't think I want to advance this turn. Like we can advance those. I don't think I want to advance these two. Because it would leave them quite vulnerable to be shot at. They're still failing to repair the machine gun on the 231, so that's good. One percent chance in the turret for that two 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 to kill the Matilda two. <laughs> All right. Well, it's our fire phase. We'll have a couple shots on target here. Perfect. Well, we didn't need more than one. Uh, we can probably turn in and shoot at these from here as well. Well, that's a decent chance to hit. So the 19% chance? Wow. And we keep getting reloads. Don't mind if I do. It's probably because we stopped. This one was just on like a standard move order. This one was on like a stop order. We take those. So yeah, now these friends can just come and encircle this building and keep hammering it with machine gun fire until we break them. We've only got like eight turns to do that. So we've got to uh, hope that we get some good pins in there. Because actually advancing into this house is going to be so difficult with the amount of people that are there. I don't want to go next to the building because they can advance out and try and put us into a sort of melee. So I think we're just here laying down machine gun fire. A bit concerned about this unit. I kind of want to get rid of that. That one can fire there. This one, when it arrives, can also fire here. Gun malfunction's not very fun. Wonder if they're coming back for the objective here. I'm gonna leave another irregular nearby. And I'm actually just going to move on to this one for this turn to get that guy potentially back on his feet. I don't know if we put the machine gun fire in here. 4%? Might as well, I guess. Hmm. 
Nice. LMG malfunction. They broke our regulars, though. They didn't route in necessarily a terrible direction, which is kind of interesting. We're not advancing any troops. We could maybe try and bait the shots out of this building and then go for a melee. It, like, if we are desperate. That's unfortunate, though. The kill there. Right, now our fire phase. Get all the machine guns on target. We've at least pinned two of them, and two of them are routing. That's actually a pretty good outcome. It's going to make it more viable for us to actually get infantry in there. Or a melee. So this is where the Bren will come in handy. Because the Bren carrier can potentially move into a position just constantly hit that with machine gun fire now. We rallied our greens, the MG got repaired as well. Alright, we'll let the greens go first. They're going to have to draw some fire. Good. I'm doing it as far away as possible so that they don't have accuracy. Here, yeah, these two just keep hammering. These chaps. This one just needs to be wary of this AT gun line of sight, but otherwise, probably just tuck in here. Keep shooting these. Good. We'll take the 13%. Nice. This one can move closer. I can't put them back in. But what we can do, at least these can move up now. Alright, we'll put the machine gun fire on here. It's annoying. I need to pin these guys down, and then we can obviously just finish. Um, what we're going to do this turn, though, is probably run to here. And this tank actually doesn't need to be here anymore. Maybe we can start driving this round as well. Because all of the infantry that was going to threaten to capture this back has been pinned for now. 
So we can get another set of machine guns on this target. Oh, they just got slaughtered on the way out. I don't know if I want to advance too many of these. Just kind of splitting them 50-50 so this LMG can't do too much damage in their move and fire phase. And the machine gun on that 231 recovered. That's probably going to come back and engage us now. Unless it just keeps firing at one of my Brins, maybe. Well, that was pretty lucky for them. Nice. Okay, good. Finally. Break them. Thank you very much. Right now, we pray that we can get a break here. In is a start, but not good enough. I don't like them routing next to enemy units like that. It's not good. Hopefully in recovery phase we recover and they don't and then we can just use their infantry squad to maybe surrender their infantry squads or at least keep them on the run. We'll see. I'm going to have this one yeah, drive around the corner here and keep harassing. Uh, I should make sure that they come out so they have better accuracy. Even though they're pinned, still going to be able to harass me. I'm curious, maybe what we can do is move like this. this. Well, that doesn't work. Unfortunate. I just don't really have the men to, to get in here. We'll have him jump out. Not in line of sight from there, are we? Not good. Like in theory, we could run these two onto that tile and then try and push in in the next turn. But it's going to be their fire phase next, so this is kind of silly.
I think those regulars die, unfortunately. Should have been more patient. Oh, they actually ran away. Okay, that's not as bad. I mean, they're still going to be able to be shot at. Keeping up with these and harassing them is going to be difficult. Might be able to use this Bren maybe to drive around to the other side. Alright, let's see how we get on again. There's <laughs> no way. Uh, let's get out so we have my accuracy next turn. Rough. Really rough. Every turn that we don't get it, we're just losing 10. I don't think there's anywhere I can go right now to keep these guys pinned either, because these guys didn't recover. Unless... I use this infantry, then they're not going to be able to get close enough. Maybe I can just move closer, right? There's only one unit in there. If they move out, then we win. So at this point, we might as well be point blanking them. Guys can't turn in this turn. Yeah, this is rough, really rough. I wonder if uh, the tanks give cover actually. To infantry nearby. That might have been a way to get closer. I'm not sure if they do they. We can we can kind of check. I don't think it does. We'll just have those sit together. My leader's still struggling to get those greens back on their feet. Ah, there we go, finally. We lost another machine gun. All right, let's put these back in there. That's a 21 percenter. Come on. Come on, be kind. Be kind. There we go, finally. <laughs> All right. Good show. Phew. All right, I was really worried we weren't going to get that. I feel like we've been playing this relatively well. I got pretty unlucky there. We just move on to the last objective with some infantry and that's it. All right. All right. <laughs> Give me that objective. 
get me out of here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, let me just drive down here and shoot this. Get out of here. We're just silly 231. <laughs> okay. Certainly made a meal out of that, didn't we? Incredible. I think we just move on and then do their thing. That's the only thing that can fire. The other ones are still retreating. At least none of my chaps died. We take that win after 10 turns. 113 points. I feel like that took way longer than it needed to, but alas, we managed to get the victory. The German anti-tank gunners were very surprised to see their shells bounce off the Matilda II's thick armour. The Matilda II's proved effective, but there were far too few of them. The German army soon learned to use their heavy 88 AT guns to deal with them. So in terms of scores, we came 77th. Yeah, not too bad. Not quite as good as the previous mission, but I feel like we got stung at the end there pretty hard. It was fun nonetheless, and I'm sure we'll move on to the Alamin skirmish at some point. But that is it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.